Good evening and welcome. Two stories from the international circuit perfectly fits the foreigner's role in capturing the present correct perspective about the oil and gas industry. The BNC, United States Nigeria by National Commission, just rose from deliberating on innovation and ingenuity, looking at strategic collaborations towards measurable progress with plenty takeaways. Check out the details in this package. While the coronavirus outbreak is inevitably on the minds of OPEC and non-OPEC Joint Technical Committee, it's about information sharing and problem sharing. These stories prepare the stakeholdership and the industry for the third Nigeria International Petroleum Summit 2020, holding this week with the theme widening the integration circle technology knowledge sustainability and partnership guess who's been speaking about expectations the auspiciousness of the summit is being availed to project nigeria's petroleum sector investment opportunities to the world that's the package thanks for joining us my name is akin agbejule this is all on gas for very very impressed and also glad to be here to see what uh, NMPC are doing on this science uh, competition. You can see that some of them that uh, have won earlier on they are already having sort of their PhDs and they are working even you know in uh, big oil corporations so I think really NMPC they've done very very well and I'm really very proud they are investing a lot into uh, education. NNPC Retail unveils a range of new solutions for improved engine health, life, and efficiency. Meet your new automotive companions, the NNPC Lubricants. Nitro Diamond is an advanced multi-grade premium quality motor oil, specifically formulated to give superior all-year-round engine protection and performance plus extra fuel economy. It provides outstanding lubrication, cleaner engines, better protection against wear and corrosion, and improved oil consumption. Do you know that Nitro Gold provides superior all-year-round engine protection for your vehicle, ensures dependable lubrication with very good viscosity retention and easy cold starting, a very good catalyst and turbocharged for performance. Nitro Super 40, presenting Nitro Super 40, a good quality engine lubricant that provides dependable all-year-round engine protection and good oxidation resistance. Nitro 2T, a unique premium quality motorcycle engine oil suitable for all two-stroke engines fitted with oil injection or free mix systems. It's got a comprehensive additive package, superior longer engine protection, prevents exhaust system blockage and reduces exhaust smoke. And for your diesel engines, you're not left out. Rhino X, a multi-grade diesel engine oil providing superior thermal stability and oxidation resistance, featuring superior protection and performance, cleaner engines and superior detergency and dispersancy, suited for medium and turbocharged heavy duty engines and stationary units. Rhino HD40, a good quality diesel engine oil, specifically formulated to give reliable all year round service, with reliable performance, comprehensive additive package, good detergency, good oxidation stability, and anti-wear property. Buy NNPC Retail Lubricants from any NNPC Retail Fuel Station near you today. Choose quality. Choose NNPC Lubricants. The third Nigeria International Petroleum Summit, NIPS 2020, commences tomorrow, February 10, at the International Conference Center, Abuja. His Excellency, President Mohamed Buhari, is billed to declare the week-long program open. Expected at the Energy Summit are the continent's top energy ministers, amongst whom are His Excellency Noel Umbumba, Minister of Oil, Gas and Hydrocarbons, Gabon, and His Excellency for Makoye Gado, Minister of Petroleum, Niger Republic. The theme of the summit is widening the integration circle, technology, knowledge, sustainability, and partnership. Also expected at the summit is the OPEC Secretary General, Dr. Mohamed Sanusi Barkindo, and other reputable international energy stakeholders. Nigeria's Minister of State for Petroleum Resources, Chief Timi Pere Silva, is the chief host of the event. Speaking to the Oil and Gas Forum on the event, NNPC's Acting Group General Manager, Group Public Affairs Division, Mr. Samson Makoji, commended the Minister of State for Petroleum Resources and the organizers 
for rallying stakeholders to boost the petroleum sector in Africa. It's a global conference, I'm sure you know, and it will give NPC the opportunity to showcase our capacity in terms of operations in the upstream beat and other sectors of the oil and gas industry. He speaks further on his expectations at the four-day summit and why the NNPC will be participating. The TIP initiative has come live in the whole of the NNPC and everybody has keyed into it. And the target is to get the NNPC to be a company of global excellence. The Minister of State Petroleum Resources, Chief Timmy Prey Silva, and the Group Managing Director of the Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation, NNPC, Malamele Kari, have sued for infrastructural support for the nation's oil and gas industry from the United States Nigeria Binational Commission, BNC. This was made known at the just concluded 2020 United States Nigeria Binational Commission, BNC, in Washington, D.C., recently. The theme of this year's BNC is innovation and ingenuity, which reflects the entrepreneurial, inventive, and industrial spirit shared by Nigerian and American people. Discussions also centered on securing alignment on U.S. oil and gas investment. The Nigeria National Petroleum Corporation, NNPC, has expressed its preparedness to align its processes to global energy best practices, standards, and expectations in its quest to transform into an efficient global energy company of choice. The Group Managing Director of NNPC, Mala Mele Kiari, made this known at a business meeting with IHS Market, a global energy information provider and organizers of the annual International Energy Conference, Sarah Week, at the NNPC Towers in Abuja. This company is uh, moving towards being a global player. Uh, this company will, will follow all the rules of the industry and, and of course, um, and particularly because this is a national oil company, this is really an extension of our country. On his part, Daniel Beckhove, Senior Associate Strategic Energy Initiative of IHS Market, assured of strategic partnership with the NNPC that would enable it to achieve its objectives adding that the global energy transition seeks to move the world towards a lower carbon environment. There's a, there's a lot of significance of this meeting to us. It, it uh, helps uh, affirm and uh, underline the strategic partnership that we have with NNPC through SEER Week, in which we hope will grow um, uh, and extend into a deeper partnership. The organization of the petroleum exporting countries, OPEC and non-OPEC, have met with discussions focusing on the coronavirus outbreak in China and its potential impacts on the global oil market. The extraordinary meeting of the OPEC and non-OPEC Joint Technical Committee took place recently in Vienna. OPEC Secretary General Dr. Mohamed Barkindo reiterated OPEC's full support to China and praised the leadership for its rapid and strategic response to the outbreak. He lauded the proactive public health measures China has undertaken, adding that the steady flow of data provided was impressive and commendable. The Corporate Services Directorate of the Nigeria National Petroleum Corporation, NNPC, has kicked off an initiative aimed at enhancing service delivery and achieving performance excellence in keeping with the Malamele Kiari led management's transparency, accountability, and performance excellence tip agenda. Speaking at the Corporate Services 2020 Work Plan sign-off ceremony at the NNPC TARS, Chief Operating Officer, COO, Corporate Services Engineer Farouk Said, said the plan would help the Directorate to intensify efforts and harmonize skills in its quest towards achieving distinction in professionalism and service delivery. She has uh, uh, outperformed uh, Directorates in terms of uh, uh, achieving uh, the set work plans and the KPIs. Uh, we intend uh, to do the same this year. He described the work plan as the collective resolve of the directorate's top management made up of the group general managers and general managers to harmonize its top priorities and refocus its target metrics to help the corporation achieve its mandate of touching the lives of Nigerians in many positive ways.
NMPC has really shown the way in how to develop students and how to help students to achieve their dreams and goals. It shows that that's um, um, actually a corporation that has the interest of the young people um, in this country. I would like to be part of NNPC and continue to be with them for life and uh, I will wish NNPC more grace to their elbow. NNPC, we touch your lives in many positive ways. Nigeria is Africa's largest oil producer and the sixth largest oil producing country in the world. Nigeria became a member of the Organization of the Petroleum Exporting Countries in 1971. It is one of the top 10 nations in the world with huge natural gas reserves. Nigeria's gas reserve is estimated at 187 trillion standard cubic feet of gas. The Nigerian economy is heavily dependent on the oil sector which accounts for over 95% of export earnings and about 40% of government revenues, according to the International Monetary Fund. As an oil and gas producing nation, the Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation, NNPC, which is a wholly owned federal government company, was established on 1st April 1977 under the statutory instrument decree 33 of the same year and is touched with the responsibility of managing all interests of the federal government of Nigeria in the oil and gas industry. The corporation's vision statement is to be a world-class oil and gas company driven by shared commitment to excellence, while its mission statement is to be an integrated oil and gas company engaged in adding value to the nation's hydrocarbon resources for the benefit of all Nigerians and other stakeholders. We are aiming at conducting bid rounds for marginal fields and opportunities within 2020 to ensure settlement of district partners and pave way for FID on major capital projects. The NNPC structurally is made up of upstream gas and power, refineries, downstream ventures, finance and accounts, corporate services autonomous business units, and the group managing director's directorate. As the state oil company, the upstream autonomous business unit is mandated to manage and operate assets, lead exploration through collection, processing, and storage of seismic data, and provide competitive oil and gas engineering services. Group managing director of the NNPC, Mala Mele Kiari, who took over the mantle of leadership on 8th July 2019, as I showed that all transactions in the nation's oil and gas industry would be executed with the philosophy of transparency, accountability, and performance excellence. Tape. Our transparency index has risen. Our balance sheet has changed. But there are significant changes that have happened in the last three years. We have put processes that are working. The corporation's subsidiaries, only owned under the upstream autonomous business unit, includes the Nigerian Petroleum Development Company, NPDC, the Integrated Data Services Limited, IDSL, the National Engineering and Technical Company Limited, NETCO, and the National Petroleum Investment Management Services, NAPIMS. As you are aware, the President has given us a very clear mandate to look at uh, 40 billion barrels of oil by way of reserves and the national daily output of about 3 million barrels a day. There is a diverse portfolio of investment opportunities in the upstream, midstream and downstream sectors of the Nigerian petroleum sector. Upstream investment opportunities with proven oil and gas reserves of 32.5 billion barrels and 187 trillion cubic feet respectively. Numerous investment opportunities abound in the upstream operations. Some of the major areas with significant investment potentials are exploration and production of oil and gas products, surveying tropical and plant metric and sea bottom survey, civil works, mud pit construction, concrete works at rig sites, barite production, mud logging services, oil block acquisition, drilling rig leasing and drilling related services. Investment opportunities exist in hydrocarbon exploration services in the local and international oil and gas industry. Investors can provide seismic data acquisition, processing, interpretation and reservoir management services to a wide range of clients from wholly owned to multinational oil and gas companies. 
uh, with the sole purpose of providing exploration services to the oil and gas sector, both locally and internationally. We have been carrying out exploration and also reservoir engineering studies locally and to some extent internationally. Specific opportunities in provision of hydrocarbon exploration services include the following geological seismic interpretation, petrophysical and reservoir engineering, integrated oil and gas field, reservoir management, basinal exploration, field utilization studies, and well site services. Nigeria has four refineries, two in Port Harcourt, PHRC, and one in Kaduna KRPC and Wari WRPC. The refineries have a combined install capacity of 445,000 barriers per day. A comprehensive network of pipelines and depots strategically located throughout Nigeria links these refineries. NNPC produces linear alkyl benzene, benzene, heavy alkylates, and deparaffinated kerosene at its Kaduna refinery complex. Also linked to the Wari refinery are a 35,000 metric ton per annum polypropylene plant and an 18,000 MTPA carbon black plant. Also, a number of ancillary investment opportunities arise from refining and related activities. These opportunities include the manufacture of special products such as industrial and food grade solvents, insecticides, cosmetics, mineral oil, petroleum jelly grease, bituminous based water stock damp proof building materials such as floor tiles, rubber products, tarpaulin, asphalt storage, packaging and blending plants to handle products for export and local use. We are looking for people who have the capacity to invest and also have the expertise in refining operation. I see refinery being uh, in the next three or four years to be on their own. Midstream downstream investment opportunities include the following. Downstream gas conversion projects, refinery optimization, product pipeline and depot rehabilitation, pipeline surveillance and securities, pipeline production and lane, remote pipeline monitoring and control services, gas metering and monitoring services, turnaround maintenance of refineries, warehousing arrangements, storage tank farms, offshore downstream investment, petroleum product storage and distribution facilities, petroleum product marketing and retailing, e.g. AGO, DPK, petroleum haulage, product transportation, linear alkyl benzene, carbon black and polypropylene producing industries. Today we have a dominant force in the white products market, meaning PMS, gasoline, AGO, gasol, DPK, LPG and other products. Gas investment opportunities. The U.S. Geological Survey puts Nigeria's undiscovered gas potential to be as high as 600 trillion cubic feet. Recent discoveries support this estimate. Nigeria clearly has the capacity to be one of the world's top three in terms of gas reserves. It is a gas investor's haven. Further expanding the room for investment in this sector, the Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation has embarked on an aggressive expansion of gas pipeline infrastructure across the country. This expansion is aimed at supporting the power generation efforts of the federal government. The entire conversation that is happening is how do we use this very important resource because of its credentials for sustainable development of our country, growing the GDP, getting people out of poverty, and then the responsible use of energy. About $16 billion investment opportunities such as the following exist in the gas sector. Domestic liquefied natural gas LPG production and marketing, downstream gas conversion projects, LNG plants, LPG plants, gas transmission pipelines, gas processing facilities, gas-based manufacturing industries, pipe milling and fabrication yards, Non-oil opportunities include investment in infrastructure, procurement services, logistics support, real estate and auxiliary services, medical services, research and development, oil and gas consulting. Prospective investors can take advantage of some of these opportunities. 
and the following NNPC subsidiaries. The Directorate of Ventures incidentally houses medical. And you know how important medical is to us. We promise you, with the support of the top management, we're going to have a med better medical. We will develop the requisite human skill pools that will drive all the businesses. We will encourage businesses to grow revenue streams and also encourage them to control controllable costs. In 2005, the federal government of Nigeria, mindful of the needs to promote sustainable development in all facets of the Nigerian oil and gas industry, and to mitigate the effects of production operations on the environment and future economic impact mandated NNPC to explore and develop renewable energy as part of the national energy mix in order to entrench sustainability. This led to the creation of the Renewable Energy Division Red of the NNPC in August 2005. The division has since rolled out a number of renewable energy initiatives in line with the numerous international protocols and conventions which Nigeria has become a signatory to. We share in the vision of Mr. President, President Muhammad Buhari, to transform NNPC into an energy company where biofuels will play a leading role. And KB State is committed. KB State has the capacity to participate in this partnership. NNPC is spearheading a biofuel program for Nigeria aimed at creating a sustainable domestic industry by integrating the energy and agricultural sectors of the country. The biofuels program also aims to nurture a thriving homegrown industry to provide jobs and economic empowerment to rural communities and reduce Nigeria's dependence on crude oil. Indeed, Nigeria is endowed with abundant oil and gas resources with several windows of opportunities for investors to explore. Thankfully, the petroleum sector today is being driven by men and women of goodwill who are committed to developing the sector and attracting foreign direct investment that will boost the nation's economy. Good evening and welcome to this edition of the feedback segment. My name is Julia Outer. Over the years, the nation crude and petroleum product pipelines that passes through so many towns and communities have been vandalized. This illegal act of pipeline vandalism have led to loss of lives, property, pollution of the environment, pollution of water, destruction of aquatic beings and loss of revenue to the nation. It is against this background that our roving camera on the streets sought to find out from the public the dangers of vandalizing petroleum products pipelines. My advice to those guys, may they calm down. Vandalize is not a solution. Anybody with sanity should not do that. Anybody who reasons well should not go there. You know that the consequence is death. It destroys. Not only you, you go around. It may cause harm to the individuals or the citizen occupying that place. In most cases, it caught in fire with maybe fire explosion. Like the people that lost their life recently in the fire incident in Lagos, that's just so bad, you know. So I want to say to every Nigeria not to be part of such. And if you see anybody vandalizing any of the infrastructure, please report to the security operator. The Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation, NNPC, is calling on you to always report any act or cases of pipeline vandalism to the appropriate security agencies to save lives and property. And that's it on this segment. Stay tuned. Hello and thank you for joining us on this segment of the program. My name is Abigail Ojobo. Did you know that the floating production storage and offloading FPSO is a floating vessel used for the production and processing of hydrocarbons and for the storage of oil? Did you know that the first FPSO in Nigeria is the Bonga FPSO and was inaugurated in 2003? In 2018, 
the Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation, NNPC, Total Upstream Nigeria Limited, and her partners welcomed the Egina FPSO to the shores of Nigeria. Did you also know that the Egina FPSO is the largest FPSO ever installed in Nigeria with 200,000 barrels per day capacity of oil production and a storage capacity of 2.3 million barrels? Now you know. Please don't go away. Hello and welcome to Global Crude Oil Outlook. Oil futures rose for a second day amid investors' optimism over unconfirmed reports of possible advances in combating the coronavirus outbreak in China, which could cause fuel demand to rebound in the world's biggest oil importer. Brent crude futures rose by 77 cents or 1.4 percent to $56.05 per barrel haven't risen 2.4% in the last session. U.S. West Texas Intermediate WTI crude futures gained 95 cents or 1.9% to $51.70 per barrel after rising 2.3%. All prices have slumped more than 20% since reaching their highest this year, January 8, on demand concerns caused by the virus outbreak and oversupply indications. A technical market indicator, known as the Relative Strength Index, which measures buying and selling momentum, suggests that prices have fallen too far, too fast, and investors may be buying futures in response. Commodity supply chains in China have been disrupted to the extent that short-term sales of crude oil, along with liquefied natural gas, fell to nearly zero. While oil prices gained in the past two days, the front month contracts of both Brent and WTI remain in contango, a situation where longer dated futures trade at a premium to shorter dated ones, a sign that the market sees ample supply of falling demand for crude. Thanks for joining us. I am Owego Okolo. That's been the package on Oil and Gas Forum for this edition. Enjoy your week.